Hi everyone, it's Anne. Welcome to my channel, Head Trip Creations, where I do mixed media portrait art of all different types, but never hyperrealism. Recently, I started a series called Oddity Girls, and this is a spinoff, more on the whimsical side. It's all about creating a character and having fun with the character. I can't wait to show you how I did it. The video will start now. Enjoy. So here I am starting the quote unquote template of this oddity girl, the same way I did all of the other oddity girls. If you haven't seen the others, they're in a playlist called oddity girls, which is where this one will be added to. So they all have the same features. They all have that, uh, Bob style haircut, whether it's, um, short or a little bit longer. And so, I created this character. I kind of want them all to start out the same and then I can decide how I want to style them. So the other ones are more like the Adams family kind of Tim Burton style a little bit. Um, and then I started doing different, um, clothing, if you will, like on the neck. So here, the um, eyeshadow and the lips, they all have like that diluted black acrylic that I let it pool and stain. And I do like these little flips for the hair. And so they all have that kind of look to them. And then I, I, I take it in whatever direction I want. Like right now, she's dry, so I'm going to start the whimsical phase. So I'm using chalk pastels in various colors, brown, gold, red, green, blue. So right now, um, I'm adding it to not only her face, but the background. I'll go over the hair again with the black acrylic. Here I'm adding some bright blue to one eyelid. And I add it to the background as well to tie it in. little red chalk pastel to the lips, brown to the neck. And this is cream acrylic, very diluted, doing half of her face to make her kind of whimsical. And I also use it for cover up. When I uh, mess up, you'll see. <laughs> um, I'm adding black acrylic here to her hair oil pastel stick to her lips and this is dark orange and some red to her cheeks starting right under her eyes I love that look more blue to the eyelid and now with the end of a marker I am doing some dots dipping it into black acrylic paint. I love that look. because It's almost like the markings on a peacock. And now adding a whimsical circle of dots around her eye. And here I started more of the white dots in her hair. And then I worked it all the way down. And you'll see that I go over it with olive green when it dries because I felt that it was competing with the um, dots around her eyes. And plus it was just like too much. Adding some black lines with black acrylic. Now the fun part, I made a partridge bird. So I, I just winged it no pun intended, cut it out. You, this, I was using um, a scrap from an old project and then I did the little wing and then with the pen I did its legs. I think it came out really cute. And here I'm doing a little bit of a drop shadow with olive green um, real brush pen by Arteza and then while I had it in my hand I just colored her irises 
in that same olive green and her pupils kind of got lost with the dark olive green so I go into uh, the pupils with I forget at the moment yeah with black acrylic I go into them later again this is a very thirsty piece doing the eyelashes and the eyelids and the eyebrow because with the chalk pastel it dulls everything I later used a precision bottle because the pen just sometimes just doesn't cut it love my precision bottles they get clogged a lot but it's worth it Just adding all the lines around her eyes and now I um, added these lines with a um, acrylic marker that part is okay but I filled in the lines and then I wasn't crazy about it so I went over it with a lime green chalk and I didn't like that so then I cut a piece of um, collage paper from an old project and I like that much better I covered it here I'm toning down those dots with olive green adding some more wisps curls here and there that collage paper made a big difference adding some more half circles some more lines with black acrylic paint so we have a lot of blue and green and black and it definitely needs another color which I will add in, in a short bit so here I am covering up the dots with more olive green acrylic and covering up the dots in the hair with the black acrylic I think that looks better and now with purple chalk pastel I'm doing these little dots to kind of mimic a spray I didn't want to use spray so I'm just tapping and here I messed up so I covered it with the uh, buttermilk acrylic and while it was drying I did red dots so now you know I had the blue and the green and so added purple and red and that makes a big difference and if you notice the lips while I'm adding more to her cheeks and her hair the lips I'm just doing the red in the very center of her mouth almost to give her like that whimsical pucker here I'm adding more a lot more orange and red to her cheeks to go over all of that buttermilk acrylic and now this is viridian green it's almost like a turquoise so now I added the purple and the red but went back into it with the turquoise adding even more red and now purple to her eyes brightening up her eyes with the white and eye shine little bits of the lips even more red to the cheeks just makes her more whimsical So that little boo-boo that I made was um, a good thing. Brightening up the dots and now doing some whimsical leaves or flowers, which I think complements the bird. Some more red dots here and there. You can hardly see it there. And then in her hair.
thinks she's cute. More lipstick. And now as a final step, some detailing to go over all of the lines using a detailed paintbrush with black acrylic to go over her eyes, her hair wisps, her nostrils. That's a precision bottle. A real brush pen by Arteza to touch up her eyelashes. It's really important to freshen up those lines when, when you use chalk. Bottom lashes. We're in the home stretch here. And she is done. Thank you so much for watching me create another oddity girl. If you have any questions about my process or materials, which I've detailed below, leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will because I upload regularly. Until the next video, take care. I'll see you soon.